In our previous part, I have showed about PHP MySQL connection, I mean database connection in OOP way, I mean object oriented way. Now in this part, I am going to show you PDO, how to create connection using PDO, okay. So let's go to see live. You can see in our previous part, this is our OOP way, object oriented way. First start Apache and MySQL okay and write a local host slash our folder name php underscore MySQL connection. If you don't check our previous tutorial, please check my previous tutorial, otherwise you will don't understand this tutorial, okay? So anyway, just comment out our previous code, suppose just comment out and here just taking copy and paste. I hope you already know about that cause in our previous part I have discussed about it. Our server name localhost user wrote password is blank and the database name mydb. In my first part I have created this database. I will highly recommend to watch my tutorial according to my serialization and step by step cause each every tutorial related to each other okay. So however now in this part I am going to show you PDO connection okay you can see PDO connection so for that first you need to write just try block okay try and catch block I hope you already know about try and catch of PHP cause in my previous PHP basics tutorial I have showed about PHP try and catch block okay if you don't know please check my previous tutorial you will get the link in my video description box however you can see try block in try block just create an object of pdo class okay this is a built-in or predefined pdo class as like in our mysql class that i have discussed in my my previous part this is predefined in php new pdo class okay and in here you need to write or pass just your information just first quotation and write my sql sorry my sql and colon my sql colon first our host name host equal our host name is this variable localhost okay so just paste and use must semicolon in previous here you can see we have separate just comma but here you need to write semicolon okay and then our DV name okay our DV name is this variable here you can see in our previous MySQL OPOA connection we have showed first server name then our user name then password and last is database but here when you want to create a connection in PDO, here you need to write this according this way. First your server name and your database name. This is the mandatory. Okay. And here just use comma. And last is according this way. Just user name and your password. Okay. And finally you can just echo a exception suppose I can write connection successful I just write PDO that you can easily understand okay in catch block you need to catch your exception when try block will throw a exception then you need to catch this exception okay and also you can store this connection in another variable suppose my connect that you write as you wish my connect okay and in here suppose you need to write pdo exception okay because we are throwing exception from our try block a pdo exception and for that you need to write pdo exception okay pdo exception and variable e it will handle the messages and here just write echo or error message connection fails and to concat your message arrow sign get me 
get nessus okay if you check my previous try and catch block tutorial i hope you will easily understand this tutorial however now if i refresh my page you can see connection successful video it's a very simple also you can write here some error mode exception handler suppose i can write this connection here is our connection then arrow sign go to set attribute set attribute okay you can attribute set attribute as you wish suppose here you can write pdo scope resolution operator pdo is an static method of a static class and for that if you want to access this error mode handler you need to use here a scope resolution operator pdo scope resolution operator this called double colon means scope resolution operator and then if you check our previous tutorial you will easily understand about that where i have discussed all about matter pdo scope resolution operator and then write attr underscore mode comma and then again pdo scope resolution operator and also you can write sorry here will be error mode err error mode because we are handling the error mode exception okay error mode and here will be err mod error mode underscore exception all are camel keys sorry yeah capital keys you can see pdo scope resolution operator error mode exception okay now you can refresh your browser you can see connection is successful this is the best way in programming for handling the error exception however you can write this error exception so i hope you understand how to create a connection in pdo way okay here you need to write first just use a quotation mark and in the quotation you need to define the mysql which database you are connecting okay so here you can see mysqli or pdo which is recommended or which is benefited pdo will work on 12 different database systems whereas mysql will only work with mysql database okay pdo works with 12 different different database and for that you need to just define your database here which database you want to connect here i am using mysql and for that write mysql then your host name and then your database name database name is mandatory required okay and then your username and then your password okay but in our object oriented way you can see we have write database in last but also you can write here suppose if i comment our pdo method just comment out and comment out this pdo method and here just remove our object oriented to a comment okay here you can see if i refresh you can see connection successful oopoe but if i remove the database connection suppose our database is comment out this and just remove the database you will get the same result it will connect it you can see connection successful okay here is not mandatory specify for connection the database name but in pdo this is the mandatory issue you need to specify the database name otherwise it will get the error however just comment out i am showing you that just remove the comments and also in here you can see so if you have to switch your project to user another database suppose if you want to give uh, facilities to your client that uh, using for different different database you can use pdo okay pdo makes the process easy you will only have to change the connection string a few queries in pdo method and you can change into another database with mysql you will need to rewrite the entire code but mysql you will need to rewrite the entire code i mean whole code queries included also however both have different advantages that you like you can use as you wish so i hope you understand how to create connection in pdo OA. in advanced level and live project i will show you more so don't worry just practice it first your 
connection or information server user password db name and then create a try and catch block in try block just throw a exception and catch just throw the catch the exception and print error message it will handle the error message and you can also specify the error mode exception handler you can see error mode attr underscore error mode error mode underscore exception that you like set attribute this call and uh, our message so i hope you understand it's very simple and easy so thank you practice it Thank <music> you.